You need you why, bitches? And we back with another one. And today, hopefully this audio doesn't sound like total trash. And today, we got a reaction to J. Cole, the off season. Yeah, I'm, it's midnight. I stayed up just for this. Yes, I know, and I'm not even a J. Cole fan. <laughs> ah, your boy's thirsty for views. Anyways, yeah, I apologize if the lighting is absolutely garbage. You know, I didn't expect it to look this awful, but you know, we here, we're gonna power through this. And you know, let's just see how this goes. Um, I did a reaction to uh, two of the tracks, at least, from what I'm seeing from the track list. Uh, the Climb Back, I did way back, and the Interlude, which I did last week. So I'll be skipping those two tracks, you can check out my reaction to those. I'll probably put them at the end of the video, so yeah. We actually have 10 tracks, 10 new tracks that we're gonna react to. Um, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know uh, if there's any features on here or we're gonna see. I don't expect there to be any features on here, but you never know, you never know. So, uh, what, and what I really want from Cole on this is, you know, and from what I saw in the documentary, I did watch the documentary, you know, it made, it made me a little more interested for the album. Let's just see how this goes, you know. First track we got is 95 South. Let's get it. We know the dirty song album do a measly hundred thou. If I'm betting on myself, then I Ooh. completely double down. Why does this remind me of You Don't Know by Hope? Around, like, it literally sounds head. like You Don't you Know. Luigi brother now, and got they O's off. You reach niggas up and like Steph to blow your huh. nose off. Shake your shit and tell your pussy niggas bleeding on you. What? Fucking with coal is bold, but it's bleeding on you. Hell. The start of it caught me. But then as the track went on, it just kind of fell a little flat. Alright, next track we got is Amari. So let's get it. Kill him on a song, walk up out the pool to the west, brook like a baby. I never fall out of the concrete, was a rose, and when it was cold, had to go up and down the street. I can't lie to you, I can't lie to you. I can't lie to you. I can't lie to you. I might be chilling on this one. I see what he's trying to do, but right now, it's not hitting. Next track we got is My Life. I'm looking for that one track that just, you know, hits me in the fucking gut. I'm still waiting for it. Nigga, I'm stopping and missing. Know when I'm done with these songs, you gon' miss me. John Moran, I'm on my grizzly. You niggas just cuz, but no, not the one. I'm really not trying to hate. I'm really trying not to hate. I'm really trying not to hate. I'm really trying not to hate. Oh, okay, 21? We don't participate anyway. That's why shit all we believe in is homicide. I got a good heart, so I see teddy bears every time we make their mamas cry. Huh. I gave my heart away to all the I kind of had a feeling 21 would be on here if there was going to be a feature. What you saying now? Because I like the hook. I like the 21 verse. Probably need to release the calls first again. Alright, next track we got is Applying Pressure. Alright. That's a pause moment. But... Yeah. What? Applying pressure. Starting my crime with crime festers. And now I'm showing like they in a second trimester. That's why my niggas was released by David East. Versus it hard. Huh. Never pitched hard or played the streets. These niggas whips hard. Behind closed doors can't pay the lease. Uh. Ain't nothing oh, this be knocking. Instead oh, this, of this, this, on, this, talk about being a broke this, rapper. This the That's a perspective oh. I didn't know. I got more M's than a real slim shady video. Huh. Big boss, let's wherever they at. Huh. Slow these verses is some shit they gon' forever play back. Nigga. Damn! He's spinning up, folks, on this one. See, this is what I wanted. I didn't need J. Cole to go crazy with the concept. I just wanted him to rap. And this is what... I, he's rapping. He's rapping. Tight track. <laughs> Applying pressure. That might be... Okay, that might be my favorite track. The next track we got is Punching the Clock. Told him to come off his chain for trying to floss Died over a cross just like the start of Christianity When I was huh. a boy to teach y'all Loud packs, mow through the cracks I catch a contact, triggering a blur right. in my set, now I'm back All the niggas are so keen They started singing like Danity Now I'm left huh. in pain like I plan to be damned He has some dope quotables in there too I, I can't lie This is cool, this is cool Yeah, not bad, not bad Alright, next track we got is 100 mil Let's get it. When you get a lot, one of you say you want red. Don't push me, nigga, my feet on the why? 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 No. No. This is the best part of the track. This is the best track. Best part. 
this is a no from me. Definitely, 100% a no. I'll pass on this. I'm sorry. J. Cole and his melodic raps just do not connect with me at all. Uh, applying pressure and punching the clock, those are tight. Those are tight as hell. Just rap. Just rap. You don't need to do any extra stuff. Just, just spit. <laughs> we don't need it. <laughs> Anyways, personally, I don't need it, but uh, some people may like it. Amen. Um, next track we got is Pride is the Devil. Why does this remind me of the Amine song on his last album? I don't know how I feel about this, man. Like, I get what he's saying, but sonically, it's just not pleasing to me. Like, this part is kind of catchy, low-key, but it's like, it's not something I'll play again, personally, you know? I'm not looking for this, but, I mean, I see the appeal. See, Lil Baby fit, fit better on this <laughs> than Cole. It's cool. It's cool, not anything mind-blowing. I like Lil Baby more on this than Cole. I'm gonna be real. Alright, next track we got is Let Go My Hand. Let's get it. Remind me one day he's gonna be his own man. And my job is to make sure he's equipped. Like wow, this beat is great. Wow. This might be one of my favorite tracks on here. This one is dope. I, I enjoyed this one. I definitely enjoyed this one, that's for sure. Alright, like I said before, in uh, at the start of the video, I'm skipping Interlude and The Climb Back, because I already did a reaction to those, I've already heard them, uh, but I'll give my thoughts on them real quick, I guess. The Climb Back is hard as fuck. <laughs> the Climb Back is hard, like, that, that track is fire. Like, the that verse, the flipping the exclamation points, like, he, he, lyrically, he was there, it hit, you know... And that beat was fire. Like, yeah, I think the climb back is definitely one of the stronger tracks on this album. So there's there's four tracks on here that I at least definitely like. And interlude, eh, it's cool. Uh, the beat is cool. I didn't really like how he, he again with the vocal. You know, vocally how he sounded, he just doesn't, it just doesn't connect with me at all. You know, with content wise, you know, you know, he's saying st stuff, but it doesn't really, he's just saying it. He's not really, you know, not too much depth, if you know what I'm saying. Interlude is cool, you know, nothing crazy, but, uh, nah. <laughs> I'm, I'm like chilling on that. Let's get to the next track. Uh, close. Let's get it. Yeah. God damn. That came in a little different. Pause. Whoa. What are you talking about, man? Damn, now you gotta ride around with the toast and you keep that shit close. Cause niggas plotting on right. these two shows. You know fear niggas don't like it when you post. Ooh. You know 12 be taking notes and they watching you close. But maybe uh. you don't see him cause the end of time I'm a blow. They gon' label me the goat. How long has huh. it been since we Yeah, spoke? right. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, uh, I don't so know about so that one. Cool. Call it a this is, this is definitely tight. This is tight. Alright. Yeah, not bad. I mess with this. Alright, final track we got is Hunger on the Hillside. Or Hunger on Hillside. My bad. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Why you have to end it like this? Why you gotta end it like this? Huh. All right, there you have it, uh, J. Cole, The Off Season. This album is like okay at best, in my personal opinion, it's like mid at best on a good day. But for, okay, for the sake of this video, all right, how I'm feeling after two listens of this, um, this is just okay. <laughs> Maybe it'll grow on me in the future, we'll see. There's some highlights on here that I mess with. It could either be production-wise or, you know, J. Cole had some cool one-liners and stuff. Tracks like Amari and 100 Mil. What the fuck? I'm just gonna trash. They're bad. <laughs> like, I like the climb back. I still think the climb back is probably my favorite track on here. The climb back. Um, now let's re-listening to it all again. I think Let, uh, Let Go My Hand is cool. 
applying pressure is cool. Punching, punching in the clock is cool. You know, I think the features on here were all right. Uh, they definitely outshine Cole on there. I'm not, I don't see myself going back to this. Like, I, I can see, like, I the con the concept and the theme of is him, like, being, you know, hungry again. And it, since it's the off season, it's like go time, preparing him for the fall off and stuff. Did it really prepare him? Really? Did it really? Eh. Uh, eh. Uh. And I really, really, really tried to, like, enjoy this and like this, but it just... At the end of the day, it's just not for me. I get the appeal. People are gonna like this. Me, not so much, you know? I'm gonna be honest about this. I'm not gonna go over the top and fucking over-exaggerate my shit. <laughs> like I have done in the past, you know what I'm saying? It's just J. Cole doing J. Cole things, and if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. You just gotta take it or leave it. This wasn't, like, an album that, you know, took a lot of deep thought. Like, he's just, it's, like, like I said, like I wanted, he was just spitting. And that's what I wanted, but it just kind of fell a little flat, I guess, for me, after another listen. At the end of the day, you know, it's just my opinion. Y'all can like this, it don't really matter to me at all. Uh, I just don't really care for J. Cole's melodic rapping and for the tracks that he was actually just spitting on and not bullshitting on, you know. They're, they weren't mind blowing. I did enjoy some of the beats. The the ones that I actually like somewhat like, like I said before, is mostly due to the beats. The beats kind of were a little interesting to me. Yeah, so those are my quick thoughts on the album. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I know a lot of people are going to probably disagree with me. If you like this type of environment, you know, I'll probably do this for, you know, the big mainstream artists like a Drake or a Kendrick. So, yeah, hopefully this th this turns out well. So, those are my quick thoughts. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. And, uh, yeah, see you on the next one.